this is Steve Myers. I'm the sales manager for the U.S. and Canada for BPG's Load Pro Overload Monitoring Systems. Uh, the main component of our system is our patented inclinometer. And as the leaf spring, in this case, these can go on a leaf spring, uh, torque rod, um, any other part of the suspension in the front or back that kind of has a similar movement to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is this is a, a new transit van, a Ford transit van, and I'm just going to show you the placement and basically how easy it is to install on the rear axle. And then I'll show you a similar type of stuff on the front axle. So usually you look for on our axle, you usually go out to, to one end of the axle um, on the leaf spring. It, it's not a huge difference, but I usually like to find the part that's not on the pivot joint, one that's more on a consistent joint, or not a consistent, but um, a rigid joint. So the rigid joint's here, the pivot joint's there. So all we're gonna do is just place this sensor on the top leaf spring by the joint, and the sensor's gonna point towards the axle. So if I was gonna actually install it on this band, I would take a grinder, and I would grind off just the surface layer of paint where I'm going to put the sensor. I would put the 3M adhesive on, bind it, and then put the inclinometer on top, secure it with the tire wrap, clamp it, and let it sit for about 12 hours. And then it's not coming off. I would do the same thing on the back side. When we get to the front, I will show you where we're going to, where we put the inclinometer in the front. So basically I grind, get a clean spot, Pull off part of my 3 end of adhesive, stick it on there, and then I'm going to take my sensor, and literally all I would do for that is you've got a groove at the top that shows you where the top is. There's my groove. That's the top, and I'm going to want the front of the sensor facing the axle. So literally I stick it at the top of my 3M adhesive. I would clamp it just to give it some pressure and then just to keep it in place. I'm literally just wire wrapping it on. With my clamp on top of my adhesive, I let it sit for 12 hours and the system's good to go. I would literally do the same thing on the back side, the other side of the rear. Um, facing the rear, put it in the same spot. And then this cable and the one from the rear would run up to the center. And that's where I would put my J box and I can show you where the J box is gonna go. So that's my rears. And then I'll show you where we'll put it in the front. So the second part of the installation, so we would have a sensor on the rear leaf spring on the left rear and the right rear. And then we would take our cables, um, and snake them across and then the front two sensors and the rear two sensors would all tie into uh, what we're calling a junction box or an ECU electronic components unit and this is just going to be a convenient place somewhere middle of the vehicle on the inside normally so I mean we could mount it somewhere like here we could mount it like this you just want to put it somewhere where it's kind of out of the way um, it's not going to get hit by road debris, you know, somewhat protected. So if I was going to mount for this vehicle, maybe, maybe like this, or even maybe somewhere in this spot would be pretty clean. So we would have all four of our, our sensor cables coming in, and then we've got one cable that runs up and then up to the top, and that's going to connect to your meter. And then your meter's going to have a cable that's going to connect to power. So... Like I said, once I get all four of my inclinometers mounted, I would mount this guy and then run my cables to it. And you just want to run your cables, keep them away from your exhaust probably. Um, so you'd want to run most of your cables, um, you know, like I said, just kind of tucked up and out of the way. So a real simple installation, your four inclinometers, junction box and meter, and you're good to go. No welding, uh, no fabrication, everything's pretty straightforward. 
I'll show you on this particular van uh, where we're going to put the front sensors. Um, and then I'll show you kind of where the meter would go. And then really our installation would be done. Like I said, it's a real simple, easy system to install. Uh, four hours or less and you're good to go. And probably once you got a couple under your belt, figure out where you're going to put everything. Um, you could probably do it in under two hours. So real simple. I'll show you where we're going to put the front sensors. So for the front, we don't have a traditional leaf spring like we do in the rear. We've got like a side torque arm or stabilizer arm that's coming into the wheel. So instead of mounting it the way we did in the rear, we're going to mount our inclinometer on that, on that side arm that's coming into the wheel. So as the suspension raises and lowers based on the weight, we're going to pick up the angle that way. So I'll show you how we're going to put it on this particular front end. So again, we take just a little bit of paint off of here to get a good surface. And we would take our sensor. And get it up here clamp it wrap it and then we let it cure um, the one thing you can I mean the curing parts just to make it permanent uh, you don't have to wait for it to cure to do any calibration so technically once you get the stuff set you leave your wire straps on you could cut them off and they're gonna fall off over time um, obviously your your bonding tape your 3m tapes what holds it on um, it's not the straps. This just gives some extra pressure while, you, while it's curing. But you could uh, go ahead and calibrate the system um, and have everything done, like I said, within that four or five hour time period for the first one. So this is where we would put them on a, on a suspension like this. And sometimes you look at the suspension, there's different places you can put them. Some give you better motion and consistent motion. Um, some maybe there's other things that come in that come into play rubber stops and things like that you want to avoid so there's not always necessarily a one and only spot but there's some spots uh you look at that are better than others and there's some that over time that that, that tend to perform better than others it's just kind of something you learn through the course of it the good thing is we've done over twenty thousand of these systems worldwide so our engineering guys have a pretty good idea on what part of the suspension is going to perform the best so that would be the front. So we've got the two under rear. We do the other side, the right side, the same way as this one. Um, we've got uh, all our wires running back to our junction box, from the junction box up to the meter. And then literally we would calibrate it empty and calibrate it full, and you're good to go. You're protected against overloading. So for the last part of the install, we've now got our sensors installed. We've got one in the left rear, one in the right rear. We've got our sensor in the left front, right front. We've got our junction box or ECU in the middle underneath, and then everything wires into that. And then there's a cable that runs from the junction box. Snake it however you can get it up here, and it'll run in and plug into the meter. And then you've got a cable that comes from the meter, and you'll find power off of that. So this would sit wherever you want to mount it for the driver, um, wherever you find a spot. Obviously adjustable and tilt. Kind of get it where he can view it. And like I said, this would run from the junction box on up. Poke a hole in there, mount this there, grab your power, and like I said, you're good to go. So you've got four sensors, junction box, meter, power, and you're good to go. Simple install, no welding, no fabrication. Um, Easy to use, the display, you can set your alarms. The display will show you your overall weight, your front axle weight, your rear axle weight. And you can set alarm for the front, rear, and totals. Um, it's got telematics output that you can send information to a GPS system, some other data logging system. So uh, not only you can get orientation or location where the vehicle is, but what its weight is at any given time. So. Super easy, super to install, and inexpensive. Uh, great system. Like I said, over 20,000 installed worldwide. Thanks for watching.